uh, cow pens. Cool. So that's this big monument right here. I guess a little historical thing today, guys. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, TWP. How about the the me, something like that? I don't fucking know. I'm still coming up with it. Give me a fucking break. But today we are riding out to a place called Pop Cowpens Battlefield, right uh, on the other side of Chesney. So it shouldn't take too long. You guys won't have to sit through the whole riding process. But I don't know if we're gonna get in here or not. I'm gonna try. I gotta find out. But I mean, we're gonna go somewhere a little different. A place, new place for me, new place for you. I was like, just my GoPro because I'm an idiot. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck is it nice outside? It's like 92 degrees today. I'm fucking loving this. Oh, uh, uh, oh, I gotta stop with the kitties. Oh. I even got my tripod with me today. Gotta make sure it didn't fall out. I'm good. Do 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 Wow, that's the nicest school bus driver I've ever seen. Anyway, like I was saying, we're heading out to Calpan Battlefield today. It's a new spot for me to ride to, which is kinda cool. It's not too far from where I live either, so so I got to drive for like hours on end. Now, I know I said in the last video, uh, I don't know how much consistency I'm going to have. Uh, that's going to be equally true in this video, just a quick disclaimer. Because, uh, I start work this week. Which is pretty cool, my close friends know about it, but... Start working again this week. Uh, full-time slave to the system. But it's kind of nice, because I get to go back to work, so I get out of the house. Now, once I figure out how my work schedule is really going to work, I can figure out when I'm going to record videos. As so of the way it looks like right now, I may be able to keep my consistency, but I don't know for sure yet. So, if I miss a week or two here and there, don't kill me, because writing videos are definitely weather permitting and work permitting, unfortunately. Writing isn't, but writing videos are, because anybody who does motor vlogs know and actually puts work into them. Those, you know, planning out rides and time to edit and critique the video and get it all synced up and shit. It takes a little, it takes a fucking long ass process, man. It's not easy. Anyway, aside from that, what are you fuckers doing? Uh, I went out to Maryland this past weekend. And see my buddy Nelson graduate. It was a fucking awesome time. We got kicked out of a uh, private box suite area, which was pretty funny. Me and his buddy Kyle. So I'll tell you this quick story because I thought it was pretty funny. Well, not funny for the beginning of you guys, but if anybody's ever been to like an arena, like where they hold like wrestling and boxing or. Uh, like basketball and shit like that, right? Anybody who's ever been out to those style arenas know that there's like box seats that you can buy and rent or whatever, or you know, you buy tickets for them. They're really expensive, but like they have a private bathroom in there and shit, and like food and stuff. Like, it's pretty, it's pretty legit. Like, VIPs and shit get these. Well, my buddy Nelson's graduation was in a arena called the Xfinity Arena in Maryland, on the university's campus. And we had tickets to get in, but our tickets didn't have seat numbers, so... It was pretty much sit wherever the hell you kind of want type of deal. Like, you didn't have to kind of sit up in the nosebleeds, but you could if you wanted to. But they didn't really give a shit. For the most part. But me and... Oh, excuse me, guy. Me and my buddy, Nelson's good buddy, Kyle, who I became good friends with, we decided that we are going to sit in a box seat because the door is unlocked. Now, mind you, we kind of figured this thing was rented out or whatever, or, you know, like, privatized, but we didn't give a fuck. We 
we're going there, we're sitting in there for like 30 fucking minutes. It's comfortable as hell. I've never been at one before, so it's pretty cool. But they had food and everything else in there too. We didn't eat any of that because we figured like, well, when's you going to get kicked out? But we just didn't want it to be like majorly kicked out. And uh, we're sitting there for like 30 minutes, however long it was. It felt like 30 minutes. It was pretty nice. And his family came in the box next to us. And they were pissed as shit because, like, immediately after they got in there, they got kicked the fuck out. Like, instantaneously got kicked out of the box seats. And, like, this old man was pissed off. He threw a stick on the ground and everything else. He was pretty upset. And they're like, they glared us down because, like, we hadn't been removed yet. So, they guess they thought, like, they were going to pull a fast one like we did. We didn't pull that much of a fast one because the family who had the suite reserved... Because they were the family of the singer who was singing the national anthem. Uh, they came in and seen these two white guys sitting here, like, definitely not in proper attire with my jeans and t-shirts and shit. I think I gotta go straight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I gotta go straight. Yeah, I gotta go straight. But, uh, we came in. They, uh, I mean, they came in. They looked over, seen us. Instantly went and got the stewardess. He was showing us pretty good seats. And she came in, she was like, excuse me guys, what are you doing in here? And we're like, oh, well, we didn't really know that we couldn't sit in here because there was no signs on the doors. So we just kind of came in and plopped our ass. And, uh, well, she informed us that the, the whole, like, staff had dropped the ball and putting signs up because they didn't think anybody was going to sit in there. So, yeah, long story short, we got removed. And uh, the funniest part about it is hopefully God, I hope this family never watches this video. <laughs> or that story is never watches this video because it's bad. I was like farting my brains out the entire time I was sitting in there. It's horrible for me to say, but I was just gassy as shit, so I was farting my brains out. And <laughs> most of the buddy Kyle fucking had a hole in his pants and no underwear on, so his balls were like stuck to the seat the entire time. No, it was nasty as fuck, but it was hilarious as hell. And this family was just like, I feel bad because of it, but it was funny at the time. I'm even starting to crack up now thinking about it. But yeah, we, he tried, we were going to sit in another one, but I was a Debbie Downer on it. They were, uh, he was like, yeah, let's go sit in another box, it might not kick us out. And uh, we tried like five doors and they were all locked, finally found one was open. He's like, come on, I don't see food in here, this shouldn't, shouldn't be reserved. But <clears throat> I, I was a Debbie Downer to it, I was like, nah. Let's just go up to the nosebleeds because it might be the same lady. And if it's the same lady, we definitely get in trouble. Not that I really care, but I don't want to miss Nelson's graduation because that's out of the thing, man. I think like only 30% of Americans have their bachelor's degree. So it's, it's a pretty big accomplishment. Especially like, I don't know, I don't, I'm only going to have my associate, so... I mean, I think that's a pretty cool thing, so I didn't want to, I definitely didn't want to miss that. So, yeah. You know what? I can try a fucking wheelie because there's nobody fucking behind me. I only got recording equipment, so. Damn. Try it now. need to lower that rear tire pressure again. I've never lowered it back, so I definitely get in good acceleration on it and shit. It's just <coughs> oh, fuck. Uh, but we're gonna come in inside and take a look. Uh, mowers ahead. Hopefully, I mean the gates are open, so I'm assuming that it's open to the public. The park is closed to vehicles after 5 p.m. Well, it's not 5 p.m., lady, so... Or guy, or whoever put the sign up. That's a fucking wrong way. Uh, kind of a new thing, so I'm hoping... I brought the tripod so I can get off the bike take some video, but I don't see a fucking place to park any goddamn where. It's pretty fucking neat. I guess there's a place to park up here and we can walk around and shit. I'm open. I don't know. I've never been here before. This is all new to me, too, guys, so... Let's, let's hope. Oh, wait, there's a visitor center. Uh, we're gonna try.
trying here. Let's tour road, but I'm gonna. supposed to go I didn't plan this out at all I just kind of hopped on the bike and went that's pretty cool uh, I guess we're just gonna park here and see what's going on Like little plaques on the ground everywhere. Also, apparently, this whole loop is like a mile long. So I don't know how much of it we're gonna get to today. I might have to make this like a double video or something. I'll tell you what, it's a nice cushioned walkway and it doesn't hurt your feet. I'm a little bitch and I never walk anywhere. But this, this has been pretty cool. You know, I never thought of using my tripod as like a selfie stick or like a boom stick for my camera. But it's becoming a pretty good idea. Kinda liking it. Man, I'm, I feel like my channel is about to grow like a shit ton down here. So much more to do. So much cooler. Damn. I feel like I need to stop recording because I don't know how much more of this video I can make. But I'll just cut out part of the writing portion. It's cool. I, mean, I really can't pass up doing this with you guys. Because it's something new to me too, so screw it. Something new to me is something new to you guys. I'll tell you what, this tripod is killing my shoulder though. I've never carried this thing this long. I'm gonna just plant it somewhere and film. Well, then again, I am a lazy prick. Look at that. All wilderness, guys. I'm putting this phone in paces today. <clears throat> and I hate being sick. I don't sound that sick because I'm getting over it, but I have like Severe chest congestion for like four days straight. Like, terrible. I was kept coughing up everything. Might be a little too much information. But see if I can flip this. Nope, it's not gonna let me. Fuck. Just swap it around. So we got Battlefield Trail and Historical Green River Road. Morgan's Flying Army. That's pretty cool. Well, I guess a lot of people walk this trail. I'm new here. Fuck it. Well, this I'm definitely gonna make this like a two or three part video. I'll come back here in like another day and get it done. I got other things I have to do today, too. I wasn't really planning on filming this much. But you guys are going to get a kick-ass video out of this, to tell you that much. Which is pretty damn cool. That, I've never had, like, this, like, perfect of a video shot for my phone. So, uh, which way? That way? Yeah, that sounds good. So we're going to leave it off here because... Yeah, we're going to leave it off here. So... If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you guys want to see future, or if you guys like what I did with this video, because I thought this was pretty damn cool. This might be a little long, though, unfortunately. I'm trying to cut down on the video, and I just added way more than I normally do. Uh, but if you like that, and you want to see more like this, leave a comment down below. Let your voice be heard. And if you want to see future content from me, TWP, Get the subscribe button right in the face. Do whatever the hell you want to do. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.